Right, so this is SL TV Afternoon Live, uh, which is just before the Robert Morawa uh, Thursday night show live. And uh, I'm sitting here with the man who won us our last African Cup of Nations, uh, Mark Williams. Mark, thanks for taking the time to chat to SL TV. Well, thanks, man. It's nice to be here in the mother city, uh, sitting here, chilling, having some nice fish here. So I'm excited about tomorrow's game. Brilliant, fantastic. Now tell us, Mark, you've watched Bufana play once uh, under Shakes, and a lot of people surprised by the 3-0. Were you surprised to see what they did against uh, Sudan over there? Well, maybe the score I was a bit surprised with. I thought it was going to be more like a 1-0. But then, you know, I had confidence in Shakes. Man, they mentioned that, you know, they're going to take Shakes because I was more thinking about international goals. But anyhow, I, I, the one situation that I liked about him, and then when I met him, you remember when we won at 96, he sure. came off, and he had a good squad. I just hope they didn't put that other clause in the in, in in the contract as it goes by and say he mustn't bring too much of this into the situation as long as they win. And that's what South African people want. Okay. Now Nigerians, whenever I speak to Nigerians, I spoke to Carl New six or seven months ago and he said, you know what, that win that you got us doesn't count because they weren't there. Uh, every time they come here, they say that they feel it's a, a holiday destination for them. They feel more at home than anywhere else on the African continent. What is this problem with uh, Nigerians in Africa? Why can't we beat these guys? Well, I don't know if you, you just remember, there's also a lot of Nigerian people that, that live here. So maybe this could be also like a Nigerian place. But yeah, I think, you know, that physical presence that they have, just remember, they, they, they're very physical, big people. And, you know, South Africans uh, were never big and things like that. And sometimes it's a factor. But if you can change the mindset, you know, like he mentioned, 96, if they were there, we weren't going to win it. I think we're even going to win them and Brazil at the same time. But unfortunately, they were not there. We won it. We got the luck. And now tomorrow will be history again. All right, just finally then a message to uh, the lads who are going to try to beat uh, Nigeria tomorrow and put us on, on our way to qualifying for this tournament, possibly to the to the, the new lads in the in the team. Any message? Yeah, well, guys, um, what can I say? You know, all of you know, remember me or shall I say as uh, Mark, the nation builder. I mean, you guys are now taking over from where we are. All I can say, I'm wishing you all the best and the luck and go out there. Have confidence and the most important things, believe and enjoy. And I'll be there saluting you guys on the touchline. In case Sakes need us up, I'll be there. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers.